Today, I wanted to show you a few of my favorite prompts that I routinely use. And in the description of this video, I will also have a link to this document so you can use the prompts as well. And all of these that I'm going to show you are in various books and I've let you know which book they are in. So you can try them out and if you like it, go grab the book so you can get some more. So to kick things off, we are going to start with one you are very familiar with. If you've seen some of my videos or have attended the Dark and Taboo class, and that is the Dark Experts. Now, the original version of this came from Novel GPT. I like to give credit where credit is due. So I got the original for them and just tailored it a bit to my satisfaction. And then in the book itself, you will also see a bunch of these other experts. So that's what you'll get whenever you get the book that that goes in. So with the Dark Experts here, I can give it my story premise. It will take turns going through the characters, the settings, and the plot, things like that to really kind of darken it up. And then you can keep doing it. So once you've run one go through the Dark Experts, you can run it again and just keep taking things up a notch until it's to your satisfaction as far as the level of depravity. So I'm not going to put a story premise itself, a big one, because it does take a long time to go through. Like I said, it goes in rounds, taking turns, going through all the characters, each setting. So that can take a while. If you've seen me do my Rose and Lily story before, you know, it's the one that came up with Evan having the dual personality and had an extensive output. I'm just going to tell it. Let's see what it will do with that. Give you an idea of how this is going to go. And again, I can just keep going. Once it goes through the entire story, I can edit things, the output to my liking, and then run all of that again to take it up another notch. And it is running a bit slow today. I've noticed ChatGPT doing that a lot lately. But the main character, Princess, who is charming and graceful in the public, I just sinister secret, secretly feeds on the life. I'm not crazy about that. Okay, that's a little bit better. So I like the reasonings and the way. So I would want to work on that. And then I can tell it here to continue. Once it would go through everything in my book, I could tell it to outline and then it will summarize everything for me. And then I could actually start generating scenes. Now, I don't do my writing here in Playground or chat. Of course, I do all of my writing in Pseudorite, but I do like to plan inside of chat, GPT, and then come to Playground to take things up. A little bit and make them darker because it does allow me to go a little bit more explicit and dark than ChatGBT does. First, as a child by an ancient witch, this is kind of almost giving me Beauty and the Beast vibes, except with Beauty being the Beast. I could work with this so right away, even though I didn't have anything for this story, it was just something I threw in here. Didn't like the beginning, now I could see this actually going somewhere. So in this instance, I would take what I do like from these. Again, I like the method and I like the curse aspect. I would take those, rerun this, putting that information in here and let it darkify that. That is this first prop, the dark experts right here. And again, run that as many times as you want. And so this next one is particular to Pseudorite and its rewrite feature. I know we have a lot of plugins, mine included, to help with the beats, but I'm actually liking this. It ju does just as good of a job, if not maybe a little bit better than my plugin. This is actually part of the command from my plugin, part of the instruction. And I found rewrite, rewrite works extremely well. So since we'll highlight that, click the rewrite button. Now rewrite only holds up to 13 words. So I actually need to highlight this. And it's still going to cut off a word or two, but pretty good. And this is for you. Right. So this is the output for it. Again, just that one little sentence for the rewrite. And it doesn't use much because it's only taking these original beats into account for the input and then giving you the rewrite for the output. So it's not quite as costly in terms of credits as the plugins. But I really like the way this does such a simple prompt and yet it adds some depth to those beats. 
All right. The third and final one is from my new book that is coming out March 1st, and that is for world building. So this is the shifter world building template that I'm going to show y'all. This template itself probably isn't my favorite, but I like them all for the simplicity and the ideas that they give you. So just to show you the ways you can use this, I could put the information here, or if I wanted to make sure I saved this for like a master copy, so I always knew how to use the template, I could input it down here in this template itself. And there are two alternatives to that. Instead of bothering to make sure it's in the right spot in the template here, I can just copy this template, take it into chat, and whenever I give chat the details, copy in that template right here. I can also give it my story details, ask it to wrap it into that, and it's going to combine everything so I don't have to type it all in. So those are two ways to do it. Again, I can input the information here and then just copy all of this into chat, both this version and the JSON template, or I can input it here or directly into the chat itself. Now, another thing you could do is, as you can see, I don't have any information here, no story information, just the template. So let's say I know I want to do a shifter one. I don't have any story ideas. I could actually just click this, which is what I'm going to do. But first, the, ma the minimal thing I would suggest doing is letting it know what type of shifter you want, if you know that. I'm just going to let it go and see what it does for us. It picked Urban Fantasy Shifter. Paint an artifact that surfaced in the heart of the city, capable of enhancing shifter powers. Ooh, it went kind of dark with there. It gives us our characters. Gives us some shifter lore. Traces back to primordial spirit animal. Okay, shifters not only transform, but also exhibit behaviors and traits of their animal forms. And for shiny things, it gives us our setting. We have witches, ghosts, lesser known entities for your background characters. Secret society dedicated to eradicating shifters. I like that. All right, so again, that was just copying in the template itself. You see, scroll down, no specific story information. So very useful. And in the world building book that this template is in, there are many others. So I have just general world building templates. I have some for fantasy, romance, thriller, mystery, all of those that you can have fun with. Like I said, very easy to use. Now, I did get that idea from Miracle. So I wanted to recommend her and her books. And this is some of what she offers. And hers are very similar. Again, I got the idea from her. But she has 100 templates in the books. So 100 templates for romance, 100 templates for thrillers. Be sure to check her out right there. And another place I want y'all to check out, if you have time, is Bite Sized Booksmith. So she started a YouTube channel recently. You can see it looks very beautiful. If you are wanting to dive into Novel Crafter, she is your girl to go to. She's very knowledgeable about writing in general and AI as well. I think you'll learn a lot from her and enjoy her videos. That is it. Again, I will put the link to this document in the description of this video so y'all can grab it. And I hope y'all have fun playing around with these prompts. Bye, everyone.